Lori Hernandez, gold medal winning Olympic gymnast and New York Times best-selling author. She's got this. Pictures by Nina Mehta. Every day before school, Zoe watched the birds perched in the tree outside her bedroom window. She loved the way they hopped and balanced on the branches. She loved the way they flew. Zoe wanted to do that too. Her dad took her shopping for a leotard. Her mom drove her to her first gymnastics class. Zoe loved stretching, tumbling and swinging on the bars. But her favorite thing of all was the balance beam. Zoe learned to turn and to jump, light as a bird on a branch. Other kids in class wobbled, not Zoe. Soon, Zoe was ready to fly, just like the gymnast on TV. She stood on the end of the beam and gripped it with her toes. She lifted her arms, then she leaped. For a moment, Zoe flew. Then, she hit the mat with a thump. Zoe's knee hurt, her shoulder hurt, her head hurt. Inside, her heart hurt too. That night, Zoe told her parents she didn't want to go back to gymnastics class. Because you fell? Her dad asked. When you were learning to walk, you'd fall down and get right back up. But Zoe didn't remember learning to walk. She did remember hitting the mat with a thump. One time, I fell running a race, her older brother said. Then I picked myself up. You can't let a fall make you quit. But Zoe's brother was big and she was little. I fall all the time in karate, her older sister told Zoe. That's part of what we do, learn to fall without getting hurt. But falling had hurt. Zoe didn't want to fall again. Let's go out, Zoe's mom said. Go out? asked her dad. Why? To celebrate, said her mom. Celebration meant ice cream, with hot fudge and sprinkles. What are we celebrating? asked Zoe's brother. Zoe's first fall, said Zoe's mom. It's good news. How is falling good news? Each fall makes you better, Zoe's mom told her. Now you have to try again. Maybe you'll fall, but maybe not. You won't know unless you try. A tiny bird soared over Zoe's head. The next week, Zoe went back to gymnastics. She did somersaults and cartwheels. She turned flips and she danced along the beam. Sometimes she fell off, but every time she did, she got right back on. After several weeks, Zoe's class put on a show for all the families. When it was Zoe's turn, she hopped up onto the beam. She paused and lifted her arms and her chin. Her parents smiled and her brother and sister cheered. Her coach nodded. Zoe breathed deeply. In a moment, she would jump into the air. She didn't know if she would fall or if she would land safely, but she knew one thing. She was ready to fly. As a gymnast, I've fallen more times than I can count. At first, every fall felt like a failure. I thought it meant that I wasn't good enough and I wasn't meant to be a competitive athlete. Then I realized that falling is how you learn. What, what matters isn't how often you fall, but how often you get up. 
Even as an Olympian, I still feel scared when I try something new, inside or outside the gym. But I never let fear hold me back. And neither should you, because no matter what your dreams are, they're worth all the falls in the world, because eventually you'll fly. You got this. Love, Lori. The end. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this story. If you did, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more. Bye bye.